Hi, I'm Becca Harkins and welcome to my art channel. Today I'm going to be working on another 12 by 12 split double split composition and one of my subscribers challenged me to do something fiery red passionate colors. So I've got a bright red as one of my base colors and titanium white as my other base color. Cadmium red and the titanium white for my base colors are both mixed with Olga Sobe's group 2 recipe. If you'd like to take her course, you can go ahead and click on the link in the description and it will take you to the page where you can take her course where she teaches all about her recipe. The first color that I'm laying down here is Amsterdam Prussian Blue. I love this color. <laughs> I just, I don't know, there's something about this color, the way it mixes with the other colors, it's really amazing. And I'm laying some on the white, some on the red, drips and drabs here and there just to make sure that I get beautiful flow in my composition. Then I am adding some Amsterdam gold that is mixed with the group two recipe, followed by some primary yellow, which is also mixed with Olga's group two recipe. All of these colors are going to provide amazing flow and some, I'm hoping that they'll mix together. I'm hoping the yellow will mix with the blue and also with the red and create some interesting greens and oranges and just to get some really, really fiery, bright colors in this composition. The gold that I'm adding in very small quantities here is actually Pebeo gold that is mixed with the group one recipe. That is going to provide me with cells. Next, I'm gonna torch out any bubbles and then I'm gonna get to the blowout. I blew this painting out a little bit differently than I did the last couple of paintings. And I love that twist there at the bottom, but I have to say that I'm not in love with the rest of the composition. I do have some gorgeous cells popping up there and I just wanted to show you that amoeba cells that are growing because <laughs> they're so fun to watch. But the, well, what you're looking at is the left side of the canvas. I am just, it's not doing it for me. There's, it's too muted and then the white is covering up and making it look like grayish colors and I'm not a big fan of the center of the composition. So I'm coming in here and adding a little bit more paint to that portion to see if I can get it to pop up. The gold that I used there was the group one gold, which ends up creating a gazillion cells. <laughs> which I know a lot of people love cells, but in this composition, I just don't like the way the cells work with the rest. The rest of the composition is so much about the flow. And then those cells popping up there, to me, they just kind of take away from the rest of the flow. They just draw your eye in and they're just sitting there and they're not adding to the composition and to the lines and to the way that the lines are flowing. They're just kind of sitting there. So I'm coming in here and I'm attempting to add finger swipes and I am seeing what I can do to save this painting to make it what I kind of more like what I originally wanted it to be. I'll tell you, this painting really made me work for it. Stay until the end so you can see how the final composition actually turns out, which is quite different than what you're seeing now. And if you haven't done so yet, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and share this video with someone you think would enjoy it.
Uh, there we go. I really like that. I am glad that I stuck with it and scraped off the parts that I didn't like instead of just settling because this end result is so much better than where, to, where I was in the middle of this painting. If you are struggling with parts of your painting and you just don't know what to do, don't hesitate to scrape it off and pour more paint on there. You can always try again. There is no shame in that. So thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you for the next one.